What's up guys? Today we'll be installing Paranoid Android ROM on our Sprint Galaxy S3. So go ahead and go to the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. And this looks like a really sweet ROM. Now I've seen this on numerous devices on other videos that I've watched, including DMK Android, I'll have a link to his channel. But anyways, this ROM looks really sweet, so I'm going to go ahead and flash it. This will be the first time that I've ever tried it out. Looks like you can have different settings right here. So you can sort of edit your workspace area, your DPI and stuff, so that looks pretty cool. You can have different modes, so like hybrid mode, tablet UI mode, phablet UI, looks really cool. And yeah, you can pretty much edit anything, and looks like you might even have like windows around, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, go ahead and go to the link into the description, this is actually DMK Android's video on it right here, so that is pretty cool. But anyways, um, yeah, just follow the instructions, that's exactly what we're going to do. Go ahead and download these two files. So. Download the ROM, click on download, bring it to this page. Now basically just scroll down past these little Galaxy S3 pictures and you'll come to a section where it says instructions. Go ahead and download the ROM. So just click on download right next to ROM right here. So click download. It'll bring you to Android file host. Android file host is actually a really good source. Go ahead and click on this download button here. And that's going to go ahead and download in your bottom left corner if you're on Chrome. If you're on Internet Explorer, of course, it's going to ask you to save the file and on Firefox. I'm not sure, but I think it brings up the Download Manager. But yeah, while that's downloading, go ahead and download the Google app. So it's right beneath the ROM file, or ROM link. So go ahead and download that. Click on the Download button, and click on the one that says Jelly Bean. Looks like this is going to be the latest one, 2012-1011. Let's go ahead and click on that, and it's hosted by... Google.im, this is actually my favorite one. Go and wait 10 seconds and it will automatically download it. And then once you pretty much have both of these files for your Sprint Galaxy S3, go ahead and go to your, uh, I guess, library and then look for your device here. So go ahead and plug it into your computer. Say SPHL710. Go ahead and click on internal storage. Go ahead and click on, once that's all loaded up, go ahead and click on new folder. So just right click, click new folder. Go ahead and rename it Paranoid Android. Now you can really name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to make it easy for me. Go ahead and double click on that, and then just drag these files into that folder. This is going to make it a lot easier, because I can't do it that way. Show in folder, and then go ahead and just drag it right into that folder. Right there. And then you'll have a folder full of all the Paranoid Android files that you need. You won't get any files lost it'll just be really easy for you to go ahead and find and install the files when we need to install them in our custom recovery so yeah all we're really doing right now is putting these two files on our sprint galaxy s3 so once that's done i'll be with you guys later all right so as you can see i now have the paranoid android rom and the google apps that we need to flash onto our device so now that once we have both of those files on the internal storage of sphl 710 in whatever folder you made, you really don't have to make a folder, just make sure that it's in your internal storage. Go ahead and go to your device, I guess. Alright, so here we are on our device. Go ahead and power off now. Now, if you are a subscriber, you might notice this, but I did get a new desk. It's actually metal now, so that is pretty cool. I might put some new decals on here. Let's go ahead and give me some ideas if you have any. But yeah, once your phone is powered off, go ahead and click up on the volume marker home button and the power button all at the same time wait until that Samsung screen pops up and then release just like that and then that's going to boot up into your custom recovery now if you do not have a custom recovery or if you aren't even rooted yet then I will have a video in the description that you can go ahead and click on and that will pretty much tell you how to uh, get rooted get a custom recovery so then you can install this so yeah right here you can see that we have our custom recovery options Always, always, always scroll down to Backup and Restore. Now, to control these, you pretty much use the volume rocker and the power. If this is your first time doing this, go ahead and go to Backup and Restore and click on Backup. I always recommend that. Um, if you do not make a backup, then you can really never get what you had before back if you want to. So I always recommend making a backup. But it is going to take a while, so just be patient if you do choose that option. Then click Go Back once you have finished that, or if you are not choosing to do that, Go ahead and click on Wipe Data Factor Reset. Go ahead and click Yes, Delete All User Data. And as you can see, it's pretty much loading down here. It's deleting all of our data. That's done. Go ahead and go to Wipe Cache Partition. Click Power on that. 
hit yes wipe cache. As you can see it's wiping our cache. Scroll down again to advanced, go to wipe Dalvik cache, hit yes wipe Dalvik cache. Click go back, go to install zip from SD card, go to choose zip from SD card. Now scroll down to that paranoid android folder that we made. Hopefully you didn't make a paranoid android folder. Looks like mine is right up here, paranoid android. Our files are in here. And as you can see, we have our G apps, and then we have PA. Go ahead and install PA for DS or D2 SPR. That stands for the Sprint variant. Go ahead and hit Yes, install. And that's pretty much going to install Paranoid Android ROM on our device, so that is pretty sweet. And I'll be back with you guys once that installation is finished. All right, so our installation is finished. Hit Go Back. Actually, instead of hitting Go Back, you can just go to Choose It from SD Card once again. Scroll down to that Paranoid Android folder that you might have made, Paranoid Android, go ahead and install those Google apps now. So go ahead and hit yes, install G apps, JB. And that's pretty much going to install Google, um, Google Now for all of us, Gmail, Play Store. That's pretty much going to give us all of our Google apps for Android 4.1.2. Go ahead and unmount the system there, and it's installed. Go ahead and hit go back and reboot system now. Now what I've had heard is that sometimes the first boot up animation um, is sort of frozen at times for Paranoid Android, and most of the time it's always going to take a long time for the boot up animation. So I recommend waiting at least three minutes for your phone to boot up, and if it doesn't, then you might have had an error flashing, or you might have potentially bricked your phone with a wrong option. But as you can see here that we have Paranoid Android, that's pretty cool intro right there. Go ahead and zoom in on this, so you guys can see. It says Paranoid Android right there. Looks like it's glowing, that's pretty sweet. And it looks like it's dimmed. All right, so here we are, we're all booted up. Go ahead and click Start, select your language, and yes, I do have a Gmail account. Selecting Wi-Fi network, let's go ahead and go with JGRF. Do I have to enter in? Yes, I have to enter in the passcode. I'll just go with Guest, and hopefully it'll load. Now, already off the bat, you can notice that our icons are smaller. Usually they would be huge, but this time they're smaller. And then let me go ahead and enter in my email here. Alright, so here we are, I've signed in, let me go ahead and restore all my stuff, all my contacts, all my apps, that'll go ahead and automatically do that for me. Now, I'm sort of really excited to see this ROM. Of course, I'll have a review video, but I'll probably be doing that tomorrow because I really haven't had a full chance to use the ROM. And I am really going to try and stay and stick with this ROM because I've heard really great things about Paranoid Android. And I've been dying to try it, but I really haven't had the opportunity. So, with this opportunity, I might as well just say, why not make a how to install video? So, hopefully, this video has helped you guys. Restoring. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Looks like it's lit up. There we go. Just a sec. And setup is complete. Finish. And right off, it just looks normal. But I'm sure there are a bunch of settings up here. So, if you hop into settings, you can see here that it looks like a tablet sort of it's almost tablet style that is really cool guys let me go and zoom in and focus this for you guys so as you can see we have like all these settings down here on the left and then we have this great way of managing all of our options on the right side so if I want to click on data usage it's just right there I don't even have to like yeah it's just awesome it's just so much more reliable in a way because I don't have to keep on clicking back or anything. So Paranoid Android settings, these are all the settings that you can edit in Paranoid Android. Of course I'll go in depth with these on the review, but I just want to show you guys one thing that I really want to see. I'm sure it's launch. Is it launch? Yeah, it is launch. So you can see here that we have different UIs. We have stock UI, which is pretty much your normal UI. We have phablet UI, which is I actually don't even know. But tablet UI, I'm guessing it's sort of like on the Nexus 7. So let's go ahead and try phablet UI. I think that's really what this uh, ROM is supposed to be for its fame and glory. Let's go ahead and reboot our phone. All right, guys, so our phone is rebooted, and what I first noticed is that in the notification bar, it's now smaller, and all of our icons are like just teeny. That I just love that. That's like awesome. But yeah, let me go ahead and play around with this, see if I can find anything that's noticeably different in phablet mode. Really nothing else except for the smaller notification bar I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and hop into settings and see if it's that same style. Yep, it's that same style. But I'm sure that within apps, there's, it's sort of like tablet style in a way. Let me go in the Play Store see if there's anything different in the Play Store. 
Yeah, it's just really cool how that notification bar is so teeny now. I have a lot more space, a lot more real estate on my screen. But anyways, guys, that's probably enough for a first look and how to install this ROM. Go ahead and ask any questions if you have any questions in the comment section below. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys like this new desk or if you want me to go back to the old one. Um, give me some ideas on maybe a decal or a wallpaper that I'll have like right back here so that you guys can look at that while you're watching one of my boring videos. <laughs> but anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Helps me a lot and I'll definitely have a 750 subscriber giveaway which is coming in about 10 subscribers. So yeah guys, you guys are just awesome. You've been supporting me way too much. And also check out DMK Android's uh, videos on Paranoid Android. I'll have a couple links in the description to his channel and his Paranoid Android ROM videos. He makes really good videos. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video once again. And I'll talk to y'all later.